Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Georgiana again with Expressions Craft Studio. And today is leaf number 28 of Shivani Creations videos featuring 30 quilled leaves. Now I've gone ahead and put mine together today um, since most of it's basic stuff that we've already done except for the scrolls. And one of the reasons I didn't want to go ahead and show you me making the scrolls is because I really struggled with it. Um, and I don't want to discourage people from trying it. So I'll tell you what my struggles were. Um, it's a lot of little pieces of paper. So I did follow her directions and she said use a quarter strip and then they're folded in half. Well, my quarter strips, if I'm using the stuff that I've cut myself with my Cricut, are 10 and a half inches. So if you take a quarter of that, you're looking at a little over two inches and then you half that. So they they got really small and fiddly for me to, to handle. Um, plus it was a lot of layers. You're using two strips of each color and there's three colors. So that's six strips and then you fold them in half. You've got 12, right? I think so. Anyway, maybe if these were thicker than the 1 8 inch strips, it would have been easier for me but I really struggled with the short length of the strips versus the width of the strips. And um, so I went back and played with it. Now, during my playing, this was actually the first one I made, and I don't know if you can see, if you notice right off what I did, but I, I got it backwards. And I must not have that glued all the way. I don't. Um, so I got it backwards. The, the light color is on the outside instead of the dark color. So I decided not to use that to try and make two more, which I did. I wish I could say it got easier for me. It did not. And then I decided to just make one with the full strips. And I only used three, so one of each color, light, medium, and dark. And that actually worked out a lot better for me. I felt like I had a lot more control over it. Um, it handled better for me. I wasn't. I didn't have all these little pieces of paper trying to slip and slide. I did use my tweezers quite a bit tr to hold it when I was using the smaller strips. Um, but overall, I felt like the longer strips actually just worked a lot better for me. And then I kind of played around with it to see, well, could I just kind of put these all together and make a different kind of look? And you, you definitely can. Um, so it would look a little different than hers. I actually like this one better going this way. So of course you'd want to get them down in the hole good, but um, you've, de you've got different options. And you can see, even on the camera, you can see that there's more space between the loops when I used fewer strips than there is between the darker loops when I used the number of strips she used. And now up close you can see the difference in the smaller ones. But on camera it's really hard to kind of differentiate. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, the instructions that you're using, the length of your strips, the width of your strips, what might be easier for you to handle and deal with. And just because somebody says to do it one way um, doesn't mean that there aren't other ways that you can do it. You know, that's that's really the key takeaway, I think, for me was um, figuring out what worked best for me, which was fewer and longer strips. And I like the bigger coils. I love the curls. I think they're fabulous looking, and I definitely want to make more of them. But I will be making them with longer strips because the short strips really were just difficult for me. And this is all paper. There's no cardstock. But you can still see that I was I got some weird kind of wrinkles or folds in the centers of them here. Let me try it this way. Is it this one or this one? It's this one. Uh, so there's some weird kind of where I tried to wrap it around the tweezers I think but it just kind of wanted to come apart. So that wasn't my favorite part. I liked just making them bi with bigger, longer strips. So I'm not going to actually make put this one together for you today. I just wanted you to, to see um, what I did and let you know what my struggles were in case you find you're struggling too. I don't have arthritis or anything like that, but I just I apparently lack the dexterity that I once did. So I tend to fumble with these thin, fine pieces of um, 
paper, which is part of the reason I liked the idea of using the cardstock because it is a little stiffer, but it doesn't bend as smoothly generally. It, you, you won't see these nice loose coils as I won't say you won't see them, you will see them. It's just it's easier to crimp it in the wrong place and then that doesn't really come out very well. So anyway, this is leaf 27. Um, I already previewed 28. I like it. We'll do that one tomorrow. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've got, what, what I came up with this one. Um, I think it's pretty. Um, the other thing I wish I'd done differently was I used the same size hole, which I think was a 14, for the light green, the medium green, and the dark green. I wish I'd used a bigger hole for the dark green so that when it uncoiled it was bigger so that it would wrap further around the um, other two portions of the petal. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. Um, you know, even if you're not happy with something, that doesn't mean it can't be used later. Um, just tuck it in someplace where it's not going to get noticed as much or or maybe you can even, you know, uh, fix it. Uh, you know, it just depends, but um, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I, I don't like that I got it backwards here, but that was because I kept fumbling with it and had to keep turning it around and um, and I didn't, I wasn't happy that I didn't realize I needed to make that coil longer or bigger. Uh, I didn't necessarily, she used the same length of paper I believe, she just let it uncoil more. So I wish I'd done that differently. But overall, I think this is cute. It's a different variation of what she created, and I actually really like it. So I may end up gluing it together after all. Um, who knows? Time will tell. But anyway, this was, again, number 27, 28 tomorrow, and then we've only got two days left before we start making flowers. So thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate all you guys, and... Um, I look forward to, to seeing you for the rest of this series and into the next if you're interested in quilling. And if not, I do hope to get back to the card making. This has just been kind of preoccupying my time that between the Olympic trials, the uh, Tour de France, and then the Olympics coming up. I don't have a lot of free time because we do watch those events and have for years and years. Well, the Olympics since I was a kid. My husband introduced me to the... Um, to the Tour de France. He was a big fan of Greg LeMond, um, which I think was the first American to, to place in it or something. I, I could be wrong about that. Sorry if I am, Greg. Not that you'll ever see this. <laughs> but um, anyway, so um, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of take it easy and uh, oh, I managed to get it. Take it easy and, and just keep it light. But I do hope to get back into the card making soon. I've seen some beautiful ones. I've shared a couple that I would hope to make in the future. Um, and I want to make some more coasters. I have coasters. I don't need coasters, but I like making coasters. So you might see that in a, you know, in in the near future. Who knows? But anyway, until next time, thanks for joining me. This is Georgiana.